Let's get to some more of your top stories today. Attorney General Rob Bonta will release the second data report out of the California Department of Justice's Office of Gun Violence Prevention, and it's exploring the connections between gun violence and domestic violence in the state. Now, this report is being released the day before arguments in the Supreme Court. The debate is on whether those determined at risk and are subject to a protective order would also be restricted from accessing a gun. ABC 10's Monica Coleman, that's her story this morning. She breaks it all down for us. Monica? Well, good morning. So to understand the report coming out today, you must know what was released from the first report. So in August of this year, Attorney General Rob Bonta released the first report, and that had data comparing gun violence stats in the state to other states in the country. According to Bonta, the report showed California's gun death rate was 43% before the average rate recorded in the U.S. California even experienced its lowest overall gun death rate on record in 2019. Then the state experienced spikes alongside the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The data also showed spikes in law enforcement recovering unregistered guns known as ghost guns. Only 26 unregistered guns were recovered statewide in 2015. By 2021, the number went up to over 12,000. Tomorrow, the Supreme Court will hear arguments on whether those determined at risk and subject to a protective order may be restricted from accessing guns. Bonta and his team hopes the data released today, which was focused more on guns and their relation to domestic violence, will help sway the court. And there will be a press conference today at 1115. We'll bring you the latest from that press conference and what the attorney general has to say that coming up later on today at 11 a.m. Back All right. to you. Monica Coleman live in downtown. Monica, thank you.